All right, good afternoon. This is my second drive so far with FSD Beta 11.3.2. Uh, had a good first zero disengagement drive. Um, a little bit of routing goofiness. I have a certain area on my house that uh, the car does definitely just refuses to want to use, so I eventually forced it to using that to avoid some potholes, and that worked pretty well in the end. So, um, so far, seeing a lot of consistent behavior compared to what I experienced with the 11.3.1. Um, it looks like not much has changed. I was, I was a little bit fearful that Tesla would dial back some of the confidence um, with 11.3.2. Uh, so far, it's been good. So a little bit of choppy behavior there on the throttle, and it looks like we are going to go. A little bit tight to that car on the right that was parked, but otherwise it was not an issue. Um, I would say the behavior as we approach the crosswalk still is a little bit choppy. So again, when you have some visibility occlusions to your left or right, um, the car still, when it tries to approach that desired stop line, it still is a little choppy, but that's something that I, it's continued to get better. Um, definitely noticeably better in 11, version 11 so far. Great job there crossing the light rail tracks there. No hesitation. Even though light rail was maybe 100 feet or so in front of us, um, going the opposite way. No issues there. So that was good behavior so far. I don't normally take this route, so I was kind of surprised that it entered the freeway there. I was expecting to go to the next one, but uh, again, good behavior. Um, turning onto the freeway here, and now we're exit we're entering uh, technically MN280 as it blends into I-94 East here. We got somebody kind of hanging out in our blind spot here. I'm gonna give the car a little more speed, but it looks like it's already trying to get over. Did a good job showing intent there to get over. And that car just kind of sped up awkwardly again. So, you know, again, the lane change behavior with version 11 is, is noticeably better. Uh, it's, it's, I think, properly assertive. I would say if, if anything, it'd be a little more assertive, but compared to the legacy Navigate and Autopilot code has come a long way. Um, so really good to see again that behavior there and that we saw a lot of in version 11 at 3.1 also in dot two as well. All right, so we just exited I-94 East here we're going to be taking a right onto Snelling Avenue North. This is a little bit of a tricky intersection here as we kind of blend together with another uh, side street here. So there's two lane changes that we have to make to make this turn. And it's doing them both kind of right in a row there, which is really, really good. All right, we're stopping short here of the crosswalk, even though we have our own lane up ahead. So let's see what it does. I'm going to actually give it a nudge here. We have cars to our left here, so we're going to have to kind of blend in with them. This person looks like they were texting and driving, which is not, not great. So a little bit of accelerator input there. Otherwise, pretty decent handling of that situation there. Again, I could have waited, let the cars pass, but we had some cars behind us, so wanted to be a good steward of the road. have our first 
I think she may be her second unprotected left turn here so far. I can't remember if that one back there was protected or not. So, do have some cars coming. Doing a good job of visualizing that car, even though it was kind of partially occluded by that truck. All right, so we have a lane change, a light change here. Let's see if the car goes. And it is going on its own. A little bit of hesitation, and then decent accelerator input there to get through the intersection. So. It definitely paused for maybe a second or so before it actually went, but as you see there, I didn't give it any accelerator input. It went on its own. So um, I would say, again, that's a big change that I've noticed with version 11 compared to uh, version 10, where the car now, if the light changes and you're in the intersection, it knows it's got to go. It knows it can't just sit there anymore. Because in the past, a lot of times, I'd have to apply accelerator input. Otherwise, it would just sit in the middle of the intersection. Uh, after the light change, which was kind of frustrating. So um, another issue that remains uh, fixed in version 11.3.2. All right, so we get kind of a bike lane to our right here. Let's see if the car uses it. And it's it wants to, but it's kind of waiting back a little bit farther, so. I'm going to just nudge it with the accelerator a little bit. Let's see if it kind of stays to the right. And we have a green light now, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, interesting. So I disabled FSD there. I'm not sure what happened. Didn't see an error message at the bottom like I've seen before with 11.3.1, so that was interesting. That was honestly our first disengagement so far with version 11.3.2, so... Not sure what happened there. If it just didn't like the accelerator input, you know, I let off it before the we started going again after it turned green, and yet it's still something happened. So hopefully that's not that dreaded stability issue that I've seen before with dot one, where it like almost seemed like the autopilot software stack crashed, and then I never got it on video unfortunately, but it happened about to me like two or three times, and you had to take over, and then it came back right away after, but. Definitely when you hear that take over immediately sound, it's, it grabs your attention quickly. <laughs> so first disengagement so far, otherwise we've had honestly a pretty darn good drive so far uh, through St. Paul here. I've not noticed any weird behavior since that takeover back there, so very, very interesting. So I wanted to kind of get out of that right side there because of the uh, the puddles back there, even though I don't know if it envisioned them as, confused them as potholes or, or what, but they were just, fortunately, just puddles, so. All right, we got a little bit of a tight space here. Let's see if we squeeze through here. And then we have somebody cut in front of us here. Good input there, avoiding the snowbank. I'm not sure what's going on here kind of darted back over okay so we're going up to the next light that makes sense I did apply a little bit of throttle input there just to kind of make sure it didn't stop on the brakes but I didn't have any indication of that all right and we are almost to our destination our destination is actually kitty corner from us So I actually may disengage it here just because I have to go find parking going the opposite way, so. All right, I'm pressing the accelerator here and then I'm gonna be disengaging since we have reached our destination. So again, aside from that one issue, I'll have to go back and look to see why it, why it bailed there. Um, Otherwise, it looked honestly like another pretty darn good drive. Very consistent behavior with what I've seen and gotten used to with 11.3.1. So, so far, uh, thumbs up for me on 11.3.2. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.